Welcome to Give a Dram with Drew and Randy. If you like what you see, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe. Outside, ready to go in and uh, go and have our experience. You ready, love? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna go in. We're gonna. Uh, you got the tickets. I've got the tickets. I've got the tickets. <laughs> My name is Kay, I'll be the one that takes you through your whiskies. We have three single malts and they are from what we call our four corner distilleries. I'll explain what that means a wee bit later on. We're then going to find out what happens when you combine our single malts with other whiskies to create our iconic black label. Now, I've got to try all of these whiskies as part of our training so I can vouch that they are absolutely delicious. The first whisky that you're going to be trying is from one of my favourite places in all of Scotland, that is Kalila Distillery, and that is from the island of Isla, also known as Whiskey Island, because of its high concentration of whiskey distilleries. Has anyone ever been to Isla? No. No? no. If you're big whiskey people, I highly, highly recommend it. Where is it? Isla, it's, <laughs> on the, it's a West Coast uh, island. It is what we would potentially refer to as the first of the four corners, and that's because the Isla style of whiskey, peatiness, was a key component in the West Coast style of whiskies that John Walker was blending in the early 19th century. So it's a 12 year old whiskey, it's 40% ABV and should have notes of sweet peat, maritime spice, which is things like your clove, your cinnamon, your allspice. And then just to round it off, you've got that sea salt note and that comes from it being a, an island distillery. So during the maturation, the sea, it's, the sea air is actually penetrating the cask. So before you take a wee drink, I encourage you to have a good look at your whiskey. Give it a smell as well. If you've not been to very many whiskey tastings, I like to say that smelling your whiskey is like dipping your toe into a swimming pool. Start out so you can just smell it. Slowly bring it in. And then if you move from one nostril to the other, some people actually find that they can pick up different smells with each of their nostrils. And then finally, go ahead and give it a sip, and please add water as well if you'd like. The experience room was great. Good tour, uh, good experience of the kind of four main areas of uh, what um, Johnny Walker and Diageo were, were offering. The uh, tour guide was uh, really good. She explained all the kind of uh, profiles and the history, and uh, yeah, pretty good experience. Definitely recommend it. Didn't really want to show any more of the uh, kind of uh, tasting session there, but go. It's a really good uh, whole experience, and uh, we kind of went from there, from the the tasting room experience for. Went from there to uh, back down to the hallway, and then got access to the sixth floor lounge where you can go and sample all the kind of uh, amazing uh, whiskies that they've got. Uh, just a, an amazing view of um, Edinburgh as well, from the, the top of the building. And uh, once again, it was uh, really well uh, set out. Um, and just, I think it was a real good enhancement to the, uh, the overall kind of uh, experience. But uh, we went, uh, we spent a bit of time there, had a few drinks, tried a, a few different things that we've never tried before. And uh, yeah, we, we just decided that after that, we'd head back down. We took the elevator down uh, back to the kind of shop area and just uh, had a quick mooch around there. 
that was a really good experience too. You know, obviously, Dad, you are, are pushing the Johnny Walker stuff, and uh, you kind of flavor wheels, and uh, that, that was really good. That was a, a good fun, and just seeing a lot of um, the the different kind of how they kind of separated things out into the different profiles of different areas, um, the different geographic areas as well. And a really well set out kind of uh, made you feel, you know, it was a, it was a, a whiskey explorer and uh, very, I don't know, it's a good, a very good experience. Prices seemed competitive. Uh, the help, the assistants were really good, they were knowledgeable and they were good with the recommendations. They were also very good at, uh, you know, kind of guiding you through and um, letting you letting you kind of um, experience it yourself. But yeah, highly, uh, highly recommendable.